Tim Kiefer with the MIBTOnline.com. As you can see, I've got Robert Ybarra standing right next to me. Uh, he's in studio. How about that? And I would say he I make up some stories that he flew in or, or whatever, but no, he just lives right down the road. So, well, I mean, he's a little further down the road. But still, it's, it's nice that Robert's here. It's great when Robert you know, can do it from his own home. With Robert Ybarra, it's now time for our MIBT Online Play of the Week for this week. And this is uh, our play. If you guys remember what we had, we have a potential blindside block. So we're going to go wide on the play, and we'll show it. And hopefully it'll play here. It played earlier. And, of course, it's not playing now. Hmm. Oh, okay, I know what's going on. Let me, uh, let me see what's going on here, why it's not playing now. Oh, well. Let's see what we got here. There we there go. We go. Now it's playing. So let's go wide on it. Excellent. So it's the play of the week. We've got an interception, followed by a run back, and we have a potential blind side block. There it was. Let's back it up. We'll look at it again. Here it comes. It's right in this area, right here. Is it a, it's a potential, whoops, we don't want to do that, potential blind side block. So. The results of the poll, only 43 people uh, did it this week. So I, 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 that's low. I want more and more people to get involved in this. But I'll take it. So we have 43 people. We had 58% said illegal blindside block. 6% said this is a block in the back. And 36% said legal. Now, Robert, you look at that play. I mean, what did you vote? I viewed it as a foul, as an illegal personal foul for a blindside block. And the uh, rationale that I used is uh, who had the brick in their hand, and you could see that the, uh, the blocker was aiming at his opponent in a way where his opponent couldn't see him coming, at least in my view. And you're going to err on safety on this one, so the, per the reason why I had the indicator of uh, he didn't use his open hands, he dipped his shoulder into his opponent, so that indicator then solidified my view in judgment, thereby, you know, by our rule, he did not have an opportunity to defend himself. He took the hit, took him to the ground. We have a foul. So I agree with you, Robert. I think there's forcible contact from the blind side. You ask yourself, we ask ourselves the question, did the defender have a chance to see the block and defend it? No. Did, uh, was the contact forcible? Yes. And was it from... The blind side absolutely it was so these are things that we all take into consideration when making these calls now it's time for our mibt online play of the week for this week and it's uh september 18th so appreciate everybody who participated last week we need more people to participate tweet this out put it on your facebook put it on your instagram show it at your association meeting you can text us answers we'll get to that in a minute we'll put text number up in a minute but this play was sent in from an official from Oregon, and uh, I appreciate him sending it in for us to take a look at. And uh, so it's kind of interesting because I got to meet a bunch of Oregon officials when I was at the NASO Summit uh, that was in Washington State in Spokane a couple months ago. So it was kind of cool. I actually knew some of the people involved. So we're going to go wide on the play, and we're going to watch the play. And hopefully it will play, as they say. Go wide on the play. So here are your, your, here are your responses this week, so you can determine whether or not we have a foul. So is this a kick-catching interference? Clear as day, kick-catching interference. That's uh, response number one. Uh, choice number two is this nothing. I got nothing on this play. So kick-catching interference, very easy this week. Either yes or no. There's not three, no distractors. It either is or it isn't. So be sure to follow us uh, or uh, do the uh, poll on Twitter. It's at officially speak. You can check it out there. You can text us. Here's the number. Text us 844-437-4345 if you don't have Twitter and you want to get involved. Or you can always email me, Tim at MIBTmedia.com, and we can definitely talk about the play and see what you have to say as well. So that's the play of the week for this week. Looking forward to your responses.